Hello, and welcome to the Wound Special Effect Tutorial. First, start by ripping strands of toilet paper. I started with just one square, and it was more than enough. Next, take your white glue and apply it in an almond shape on your skin. You will need some glue in the middle too, so I put a little bit just to start. You can always add more later if you find that it's too dry or it isn't enough. Take a strand of toilet paper and twist it to make thin strips. You will need two of them. Place one strand on either side of the glue. Rip a small strand and place it in between the two strips. It will help make the sides of the wound look more even. Use your paintbrush to pat down the toilet paper into the glue. I noticed that the toilet paper required a bit more glue and so I added a little bit more as needed. I tried to even out the sides of the toilet paper against the surface of my skin in order to make it look more natural. Once you are satisfied with the result, let it dry completely for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. When your wound is dry, cover it with whatever foundation or BB cream you have available that matches your skin tone. I applied the foundation directly, but you can also apply it to the sponge first and then dab it on gradually. Make sure it covers the toilet paper completely and the surrounding skin. Next, apply some red face paint using a sponge to the wound. I also added blue, purple, and a bit of green to create a slight bruised effect. Make sure to put face paint on the skin around the wound as well to make it look a bit more realistic. For the final touch, grab your fake blood and paintbrush and add some blood to the inside of your wound. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. Have fun with it! 